Hi, I'm Katie, and today we're going to make corkscrew earrings. Corkscrew earrings are really fun to make, and I was inspired by this Weber's tool, which makes the coolest little coils. And when you pull them apart and bend them in half, it's just really fun to make these earrings, and I think you're gonna love it. Okay, let's go over the tools and supplies we're gonna need to make these earrings. You're gonna need a flat nose plier, a chain nose plier, and a round nose plier, a flush cutter, a Weber's bail making plier. You'll need a one step blooper. This is the 1.5 millimeter one. You'll need some eye pins and two head pins, a pair of ear wires, some three or four millimeter beads, and 20 gauge wire. I also like to have my wire straightener on hand in case I need to smooth out any kinks in my wire. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and begin with the corkscrew part of the earring. So grab your 20 gauge wire and cut about a foot with your flush cutter. And then grab the very end of your wire with your Weber plier. And slowly start bringing it around the cylinder. And I like to count if I'm making earrings so I know exactly the right length. And I'm gonna do 12 rotations. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And once you've done that, go ahead and trim off that extra piece in line with the other. And then this is my most fun, most favorite part. You unspring your little coil that you made and you just pull it apart. Makes a cool little spring, corkscrew. So the next step is grab your chain nose plier and find the middle of your coil or spring. And you do that just by counting the tops of the little rings. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the very center of my corkscrew. And I'm going to grab it and fold it in half. like that and then after you do that you can kind of coil those two little pieces together they just coil up like a little corkscrew so now I like to look through the little corkscrew part and pull where I bent it to where it hangs over the column because that's what we're gonna attach our ear wire to and our beads. Like that. Now we're gonna make our little rosary chain segment that goes inside of your corkscrew. And I'm gonna use these beautiful chrome diopside beads. So, so pretty. And they're about a four to five millimeter bead. And so I'll probably need about six eye pins and a head pin for the bottom one. And I love to use my one-step blooper for this part because it goes by so fast. I don't have to make my own eye pins, everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna start stacking up the little eye pins with my beads. Let's cut this off. This is kind of a pro tip. If you're using your one-step blooper and doing a lot of dangles, I recommend doing it it assembly line style where you go ahead and put your bead on every everything you're going to be looping face them in the same direction
And if you lay them all in the same direction, then your looping goes really, really fast. You can just go through them all at the same time. Okay, so this is one of my favorite tools. It's called a one-step looper. And it basically makes perfect loops for you every time out of wire or out of an eye pin or a head pin. So let me just show you how it works. I've already got a loop on this side, so I put my bead on. And then I look into my tool, and you know that you're gonna use the side with the little peg showing. The other side looks like that. So you wanna go this side and slide your eye pin through underneath that peg and then through this hole that's going to cut the excess. Move your bead right up next to that, that point right there. And then squeeze. And you get a perfect loop. Another thing is I like that it doesn't close it all the way because when you're doing rosary style, um, then you can go ahead and connect it, close it, it just makes the process faster than having to reopen it every time. So I'm just going to go through these and start looping. See here, I might even go ahead and attach that there. It's up to you. Sometimes I'll make all my dangles first. Sometimes I will attach them as I go. And I always want my loops to be the same, facing the same way. Now we're gonna go through and connect them with our chain nose plier. Slide them together and just gently close up that loop you made. Sometimes you do have to open them up a little bit more to get them to go together. Oops. Here's my little head pin piece, which will be the bottom. Let me check my length on this. I'm actually going to trim that little extra piece off the bottom of my coil. I think it's a little long. <laughs> and I'm just gonna lay that up against those beads and see if I like the length, and I do. And this last little connector is going to actually go above the coil. So you're going to open up one of those loops on that last connector, so light on your coil and your rosary chain you just made, and close it back up. And now you can just wrap that in there. And we are almost done. All we have to do now is attach a little ear wire to the top of that last connector by just twisting open the loop of an ear wire, sliding the bead on, and closing back up with your chain nose. And that's how you make the corkscrew earring. And for your second earring, repeat the same process. After I finished the second earring, I went ahead and put them on so you could see what they look like. I'm so excited about them. And let's go for the tools one more time that you're gonna need. A flat nose plier, a chain nose plier, and a round nose plier, a flush cutter, a Weber's bail making plier. You'll need a one-step looper. This is the 1.5 millimeter one. You'll need some eye pins, and two head pins, a pair of ear wires, some three or four millimeter beads, 
and 20 gauge wire. I also like to have my wire straightener on hand in case I need to smooth out any kinks in my wire. If you want any of the tools or supplies we use for this project, check out the link below in the description. And while you're there, let us know what kind of corkscrew jewelry you can come up with. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And now that you know how to make corkscrew jewelry, you can say, I made this.